Hello everyone, my name is Miranda Scott and I will be discussing the leadership quality known as relationships. Relationship is defined as the way in which two or more people are connected or the state of being connected. If you are unable to get to know people, your road to success could be a difficult one. If you get along, they will go along. John C. Maxwell makes this statement in chapter 15 of the 21 indispensable qualities of a leader. I have personally witnessed how true this statement is. I am currently employed as a secondary education teacher. I have the pleasure of educating young adults who basically know everything. My first year teaching, I learned the hard way about students not knowing you, trusting you, or respecting you. I was the new face in the community and they had to test my relationship skills. I had one student that refused to talk to me one-on-one. He would have tons to say during class time, but nothing to say to me one-on-one. I had to find a way to get him to talk to me. I listened to conversations that he had with his classmates and learned what he was into, which was music. When he learned that I cared, he was all ears, and now I can't get him to stop coming by my classroom. Which I don't mind, and leads me into the second quote stated by John C. Maxwell. People don't care how much you know, until they know how much you care. What would leadership be without relationships? Relationships are the building blocks to majority of the leadership qualities that we discuss this term. Could you effectively display a positive attitude without someone being there to witness the positivity? How do you listen or communicate if you aren't speaking with another person? And what will you commit yourself to if it doesn't involve plans with or for someone? Servanthood and generosity requires you to use yourself for the good of others. According to our text, Employers seek individuals who have good people skills. To be a good leader, you will have to have good people skills. You will have to have the ability to create and maintain positive relationships. Before changing careers to teaching, I managed at a leading retail pharmacy for 10 years. I learned more than I wanted to learn at times about fostering healthy relationships with customers and employees. There was a customer that I had developed a relationship with over the years, and she wanted me to approve a transaction based off of that relationship alone. Because I had shown her compassion previously and had taken the time to nurture the relationship, she took no from me and not the pharmacist that was on duty. I currently use a similar method with my students. I make it a point to learn something about them or to compliment what they are wearing to let them know that I care about any and everything that they have going on. I will continue to cultivate relationships from experiences I have learned is the key to being a successful leader. How do you manage relationships? The key word is people. As a leader, you have to understand people, treat people as individuals and care about how they feel you will be on the right path to building a solid relationship. Love people. Look for the good in people. Have empathy for their situation and genuinely love them as a person. Help people by focusing on what you can put into them to develop them. You can't be concerned with what you can get out of them all the time. Focusing on treating people with love and understanding and wanting to help them will help you to create a solid foundation for your relationships. In conclusion, you never know if someone wants to develop a relationship with you, fix a broken relationship with you, or continue to build a current relationship with you. You never underestimate the power of relationships on people's lives. You can make a world of difference with caring about what someone wants and treating them as an individual. Thank you.